What's the crack, everybody? I'm the Irish fella, and today we're going to be having a look at L.A. Noir, a case called A Slip of the Tongue. I haven't played this. I don't know it. I haven't seen it. I haven't played this game in ages. But what I have seen is people really enjoying this on the channel. So, guys, thank you so much. If you are liking it, please, please show your support um, by throwing in a comment and like and share as you see fit. I'm trying not to tell, tell you here if you like it, subscribe and... 59% of my viewers are not subscribed and all this other horse shit that's going on. I think that's very forceful. Um, so guys, this is this is a side hobby. It's a bit of fun. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. If you want to see me live, go over to twitch.tv forward slash the Irish fella, where we'll be playing some of these games as well as others that won't be on the channel. Um I kinda like playing PUBG and Warzone and other stuff like that, but I play that on Twitch. Um Rather than here, I'm my uh, Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft. But guys, thank you so much. Love your faces. Love your support. Thank you so much. And um, let's get into a slip of the tongue. I'm not, I'm not coffee. I'm trying this new coffee. This is Kenko. Probably shouldn't have said the name. This is Kenko uh, Flat White, and I'm gonna give it a go. Even though it's an espresso, um, gonna give it a go. A slip of the tongue. Because I've been trying Nescafe, and if I have too much of it, my eye starts twitching like mad. Don't like it. Kowski. B Cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there, see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. Oh, he Go looks it, Captain. He looks a bit sad. Let's go, Phelps. Badge. 1042. I swear the more bad cars we bring in, the longer the hot she gets. It pays the rent, though. Keep Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. All right. Passionate romantic type like you, Cole? I don't believe a word of it. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down to one round. Okay, so the lighting might have been my bad. I heard he's an honest cop. All right, can we nail the Paris light? You're a goddamn menace. Not bad. Not bad. Try to clutch kick it, but we can't cl clutch kick. That's a car, Cole. Just pulling out of the drive. Get. Oh yeah. Let's go, Cole. Remember, we need it healthy enough to answer questions. 1247, Detective Phelps. 1247. What did I say? Of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser from Six West Second Street. Let's take the guy out. Give me a little love tap. Suspect in custody requires. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Okay. Looks like we'll have some questions for people at Coombs Automotive. Coombs Automotive. Is that now it's there? Cole? Nope. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company. Yeah, that's right. He looks a bit smug. We'll go with it. 
And the ownership papers? From the same place. Pink slip. Hires and ownership papers. If this is a forgery. It's top notch. This will need to be traced. Okay. Follow instructions on reverse side. There is no reverse. Oh. There's no reverse side. Motive. You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No. Nothing like that. He's blinking an awful lot. Doubt. You better give us something quick. Or we're gonna make Doubt. this hard on you. Blinking like a car. motherfucker. I ran because because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. How much would? One reefer. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. Haha! <laughs> Smoke and the dope! Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. Alright, this is very much like the. Oh. We have an intuition point. I think it's truth. Yeah. He made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. You gotta be kidding me. I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his possessions as evidence and have him arraigned for grand theft auto. Right, detective. Do you know who my father is? We need to get cool oh. auto and check out Harrison's story. <laughs> you okay there? <laughs> Excellent. Just pick up your man for Grand Theft Auto and we and we absolutely so what? fuck him into a um, telephone post. Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually they're called politicians. Oh, burn. Well, we just today, we, uh, well, yesterday or the day before, we just heard about the presidential election. So, it's going to be fun. Paperwork all looked above board, and he seemed like a clean cut kid. Uh huh. Well, I get it. You see some kid basically you five years ago and assume he's got to be innocent. I'm more than happy. Ah, you're gonna kill someone. Oops. Oops. More than happy to be proved wrong. Hey, if he'd been black or Hispanic, you'd be singing a different tune. You spout all this communist crap about treating everybody the same, but it only works one way. I'm not sure that's communism, Stefan. Oh, God, please. Not another history lesson for a man who single handedly won a war. Are you finished? Yes. I feel much better. We'll take down the car dealer and take it from there. Unless his daddy plays golf, yours of course. In which case, we'll give him a fun gentleman's hand. Oh, yeah. What a way to show up at the house. I'd shit myself if the police showed up like that. Yeah, I did everything. Not another step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. Detective Phelps, LPD, are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs, at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he has a car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Very amusing, Mr. Coombs. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-toned Heiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. Oh, he's a funny guy. That's a joke, too, son. <laughs> well, do you mind if I shoot this guy? Yeah, no, no, not hands. at all. Stefan, you go, you go fucking ham. You go ham. So yeah, I might have been, I might have fucked things up a, a little. Well, actually, no, I didn't. For me, I don't think this game was ever meant to put, be played on a 1440p monitor. Hopefully, it's not as bad for you guys. Um, 
on the 1080s. Oh. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there too. Oh. He's lying about something. Gene Archer. 146 North Fremont Avenue. Okay, press that to investigate further. Yes, I will. Richard Coombs. Coombs Auto, Los Angeles. Hmm. Gene Archer, uh, Cliff, who's Cliff? Harrison's purchase receipt was legit at least. Okay. Look at this again. Did I, did I miss something on this? <clears throat> Okay, Gene Archer and Richard Coombs. So Richard Coombs signed the signed it over. We have a couple of questions. <clears throat> All right, fellas, shoot. Okay, he's Richard Coombs. Who's Cliff Coombs? Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. Hmm. I think it's truth. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price is certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. <laughs> Description of suspect. Can you describe this <laughs> Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plus side, but not bone ugly. Why would he have to lie about that? I think it's truth. <clears throat> what was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed. In a hurry to go somewhere, but a place to go. You get to know the time. Association with the Marquis. Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. Is he trying to stone face us? I don't know. Truth? Does Marquee Printing? You've never heard of them? Marquee? Sure. They do all the government red tape. You'll find the place down on Aliso Street near San Pedro. Okay, check payment details. What exactly did you hand over the check, Miss Combs? Close of play on Friday. Doubt. Why didn't you pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. Aha! This was all got him. above board. Yes, of course it was. Okay, if we said lie, what do we have on him? Jim and Pink's it made out to Cliff Harrison. Oh, Cliff Harrison's your man. Oh, I did it again. Sorry. I think it's doubt. <clears throat> did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son. Not bear bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. 
Thanks for your help, Mr. Coombs. Five out of five. Continue the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem, Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy, please. You have a pleasant day, Mr. Coombs. I, uh, Stefan, I would. I would let you. I really, really would. Sherman's chocolate bars. Is that a guapi? Well, Harrison might be off the hook, but we can still run APB on Dean Archer. Get on the horn and call it in. Oh, I will, Stefan. I will. Where's the phone? I still find it mad that there's just these phones out in, in places like this, you know? Like, I know the police had to... had to do stuff, but... Or call stuff in, but it's just mad. Oh, so one's fire department, one's police. I press E. Sorry. It's been a couple of weeks. A uh, couple of weeks. Been a week. Phelps, one two four seven. One two four seven. How can I help, detective? Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately twenty-five, on suspicion of grand theft auto. I'll relay the information. Any messages? A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thanks for your help. Okay. Um, is there anywhere we can go now? Stefan! Oh, you're already in the car. Okay. Stop it! Shut up! Okay, where can we go? Central Station, no. Marquee Printing Company, maybe. Yeah, let's go to the pink slip address. Here's a chicken and egg question for you. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? You've got it in for everyone today, haven't you? I've always got it in for car sales. Doesn't matter what age is. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line to get the hell out of there. I I absolutely hate Irish salesmen. Um, like with cars and stuff like that. God, they're horrible. They make you like, t like they actually think that being like passive aggressive in their like your car. So it's it's really only like this. It's really only that. You know, and it's like, it's my car, like, stop being such a dick about it. Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. We should go to the station, see what this Belasco guy has to say. But, she would have to have passed here to know that it's, it's a fake place. I think she lives close. I don't know why I pressed map there. I don't really want to. Stolen vehicle call. Okay, hold on. Let's get out of this. And let's get out of that. I'm thinking, you have to know that this place is... Is vacant. You know? Like, how would you know that 147... Oh, oh nice jump, Cole. How would you know that 147 Fremont Street is, is an empty lot? Unless you drive past it or you know it. Especially when you're going to sell a car real fast. The cars back then, you know, they needed to look good. Because you'd be driving so slow that, you know, you needed... That was weird. I think the marquee place. Oh, he nicked it a little. What? Oh, 
opponent if he if he is in cahoots with the lad shouldn't we go and interview the other guy first we might be able to get some dirt see this is where the game is amazing I go in there chat to him then go back to the other guy we might get dirt if we went over to him first the police station and then went to him we might have more dirt to talk to him things to do let's just go in screw it and what can I do for you gentlemen I'm a traffic detective from Central Division who's in charge here I am Gordon Lightfall what's this about we understand that your company prints California vehicle titles yes I have the government contract to print pink slips I've done for some years have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently we're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork not recently uh, have you ruled out forgery there's no shortage of talented artists in this town we'll keep it in mind not recently not recently what's the guy at the front having a smoke going to say to me Yeah, I feel we made a mistake coming here first. Nope. Stefan, stop sitting down. Let's go. I'm a police officer. Okay, we're not finished with the marquee printing place yet. Woo, 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 woo. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh! Ah, she fell! Oh, that was your fault. Any unable handle citizen reports to eleven in progress. Four three seven East State Street. You need to handle code three identified. Guys, if you would like to see a video of me uh, answering all the calls, let me know and we can do it. Detectives, Belasco was prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit paper. Thanks. Can you give me the phone? Yeah, I want to make homicide. You know you've got a maid, you can get to that desk. Interview room. Interview room two. I say we bust in there the and find the goddamn evidence. Hey, you doing, dude? Crummy bastard. Excuse me? James Belasco? The nerve of some people. The paper is real enough, Lasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. My sister's always been lucky when it can get away. Let me guess. You lost in my eyes. Where were you taking the car, James? Where were you? Pull it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. Greenhorn? You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm going to ask the DA for the maximum. <clears throat> You're looking at 10 years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. Keep talking, and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Does the name Jean Archer mean anything to you? No. Nope. Never heard of her. Oh, 
Okay, hold on. What do we have on him? Stolen vehicle. Receipt. Hours and ownership. Bill of sale. Check. Fake address. Belasco. Hold on. Forty six Fremont, one forty six North Fremont. It's a lie. You're a liar, James. Say that again. I'm telling the truth. I don't know the broad. You both have the same address printed on your pink slips. She's a mule for these stolen vehicles, genius. Same as you. Jesus, all right, I know her. Stupidest broad I ever met. Always cooking up crazy schemes. I don't know why those guys use her. You happy now? Wreck it! What happens to the cars once they cross over the state lines? I don't know. I just deliver them. Doubt. Give me something, Velasco, or I'll take you back to the cells and pull the whole station your child molester. How long do you think you'll last? Okay, okay. I hear you. <gasps> Holy shit. sold in Chicago or back east. Sometimes I bring back cars come the other way. Where do you pick up the cars, Velasco? Warehouses. Mainly in East Downtown. Doubt. An address, Alaska. Yeah, an address, shitbag. Puff it up now. A place on Industrial Street. I don't know the number. You're gonna help me out, right? Keep talking, kid. And we'll see what we can do. All right, James. We're gonna check if this information is worth anything. And if it is, I need your help here, pal. If it is, then we'll know you're a man of your word, and so will the DA. You're Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Nate Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California, the Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightfall. Gordon Lightfall. Here, I wrote it down. Yeah, we've been there. Thanks, Ray. This is great lead. We'll look down there as soon as we can. I want to make a homicide. I mean, you know you made it if you got that desk. Oh, your GTA suspect, Gene Archer, like spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! She won't hang around. Oh, let's go. LEPD. We'll take it from here. God damn it. Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? You look sweet. How about giving a girl a break? It could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair shirt cop in the LAPD. What's a hair shirt cop? A hair cop. <clears throat> hair shirt cop. Car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Oh, but no, you didn't. I don't think we have enough for a lie, but doubt you'd be Gene, all right. You blown open the whole operation because you were dumb enough to try to sell one of the cars. Yeah, Gene. What do you think they're going to do to you? Give me something. I was just doing what they do. They pay me fifty sure bucks to me drive someone. the car. I made two grand selling it. You made zero, and if they catch you, you're dead. Is that all your life's worth? Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. Who is Belasco? How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? I never said his name. But what do we what do we have for a lie? You're lying. 
James Belasco. I don't remember mentioning his first name, Miss Archer. Oh, I... Well, I think you did, didn't you? Well, I'm sure of it. Anyway, no, I got a, I got a I YouTube video to prove it. Yeah. Um... Is it this? You weren't sharp enough to lie to me, Gina. No, you... you and James Belasco share the same address on your pink slips. We have him in a cell. Okay, so I know the creep. The pink slips are real. Home addresses are always vacant lots. Bigelow is always boasting that the paperwork is legit and that if we stick to our stories... And don't try and sell the car? Yeah, that's new. Bigelow. Tell me where you picked up the car, Miss Archer. Look, I, I can't remember. Let me go, will you? Please. What have I got to do? Doubt. I don't think we have anything else. Trying my patience here, Jean. I'll have the reporters down here and have your picture in all the papers. You'll have nowhere to run. All right, already. I get the message. I pick up cars from a guy named Bigelow. 58 Industrial Street. Big warehouse full of goons. Now you've got what you want. Can I go? Down. Please? No, you sure can. We've got a car waiting outside for you. Oh, it is one doesn't crash. Some career advice, Gene. Get out of crime. Marry some boring who has money and find you captivating. Is this guy for real? It takes a little getting used to. Yeah, generally means what he says. Hey, dude, don't crash this time, okay? No, 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 don't crash. Okay, let's go to... I think we have to go back to here. Oops. Try making it to it the was... next intersection without pulling anyone. You do that for me? You got something in the front? No. Friendly girl, used to getting her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. It's not my time. What is your time? It was like that when I got here. It was like that when I got here. Shut up. It's my first what day. Is your type, folks? I'm married. I know that. But well, you're not blind or dead inside, are you? Wait. Scrap that second half of the book. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, the man is Damn it. after all. Now, get some. Oh, I'm with you on the block. Brunettes are fancy, and there's nothing wrong with a good bread. <laughs> so I draw the line of work. You know, I, I might have to lose that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining a food market. A man with high standards. The standards are only as high as the last glass of tea. Take it easy, Phelps. I'd rather get there in one piece. Are you looking up? We're parked. Yeah, that was me. Big case Jimmy, that's what they call me. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. Not into the theft racket. Mr. Lightball, we're currently working through auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? Doubt. We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightfall. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. Uh, he's trying to stone me, doubt. Harrison bought his car for Coombs. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think about it, the name Coombs 
sounds familiar. I think they may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. Okay. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightfall? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Doubt. Hand it over, Lightfall. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. All right. No, no. Cole, what are you doing? Well, I trust you got all that you need. Look for patterns, recurring names, unusual addresses, James anything out of the ordinary. Uh, 14 small boxes. Uh, Goldman, Wright, Oliver, 12 large boxes. Oh, why don't we check names too? James Mack. No, there's something here. Wright Brothers, Brown, Bigelow. You certainly encourage repeat business, Light Vault. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. All right, I need a phone. Do I need a phone? Drove me up to Mall Holland. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going. We're going. Chill out. Okay, locations. Um. We're here. Okay, we're gonna have to come back here then. Industrial estate. So that place isn't cleared yet. So let's go check out this other place. And then, um, if that gives us anything more to go on. All right, here we go. And let's do the state. We should call for a couple of black and white. Get Fletcher down here. I thought you Marines were gung ho, Cole. You have a 45, don't you want to use it? I'll take back. Give me a few seconds to get around there. Why is he, he, he wants a medal. I think Stefan's gonna get shot. Hope he didn't die. Old Phelps, LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me.
Let's clear the top floor. I don't want to get drilled on the back on the way out. Wonder if we can lower down the um weapons on the ground now. Get it cover. Until I've tossed this place. Marquee Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. Betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightball has been on a losing streak. Automotive mobile. They have slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. We've got a trail of pick slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck. I don't think you're the man to charge. His tits. Make it easy on yourself. Give him up. I had to work on cars for customs. You oh, charge in here, shoot up the place like it's the ballad of bulls. My name is the best to do learn. <laughs> we know about monkey printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us well, your make on the it, inside. Will you make it easy? Will you? I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. Uh, There's no problem there. Nope. There are at least four dead men in this warehouse. A couple more. Punks won't make for that much extra paperwork. You'd be doing the legal system a favor. Would be. Okay, okay, tough guy. I get the message. Lightfall. The guy who runs my key. He's the big shot. Like to spit big at the track. He owes people. Okay. Lightfall. Guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. It's one of the guys lying over there. You're right. He has no luck. That's a lie. We saw him. Yeah, I knew it was a lie. That's the best lie you can come up with, Bigelow. I knew it was a lie. We just yeah, saw him. Not lie to you I shouldn't have used the intuition there. In a good position here now. All right. Um. Harrison's ownership, bill of sale, check, vacant dress, delivery ledger, known associates, betting slips, box of box of pick slips, delivery note, delivery ledger. Oh, that might be that. Gordon Lightball yeah. owns Marquee Printing, a government print shop. He's losing big at the track. He has these big government contracts. Then hock over 20 grand if the feds find out. Contacts will be all over. Lightball plays ball. All right, Bigelow. The heat is off you. Play your cards right, you'll be able to count your time in Quentin on one hand. San Quentin. That's uh, the big prison. Jeez, how many people are we fucking arresting in this one? That's number three. Let's go and talk to Light Vault, which I guarantee he's gonna run. It's very warm. Hold on. Hold, hold please. Hold, please. Very warm. Ow. Look my shoulder. I can't get it up. Oh my god, I can't get it up. I need to get some long sleeve shirts. Uh, car, please. Someone gonna tell us what the hell is going on? All right, time to go back and talk to our boy. Have that locations, marquee company. Set it. Jesus. 
turning a circle on this thing is... You have to admire the bare-faced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and plead innocence the next. Yeah, uh, especially when he's surrounded by evidence. The guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Nightfall, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Great too. It's always one of the two that brings them back. Uh, truck wrong side. Wrong side, buddy. Seventh and flower. Oh. Out of the way. Hot stop coming through. No, what are you doing? Crazy motorists. Get out of my way. Yeah, that's a good citizen right there. I wanted to do that. Oh, I think we're going to shoot again. When can I... Hold on. Um, controls, mouse sense, acceleration off, mouse sense, game controller, keyboard and mouse. That's not going to really work. My sensitivity is way too high, but I n it's not high enough. Oh, there we go. Aim sense. Off, aim. We're going to bring that down. Aim lock mode, toggle. Aim assist off. Saving content. Okay, let's go. Oh, the stupid son of a bitch is still here. If you look at this clown, you're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightball. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. Doubt or lie? Doubt or lie? I think the gambling debts. Save it, light ball. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. Gambling debts. You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, Lightfall. I agree. I have a small problem. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need... You need to shut up now, Lightfall. Gordon Lightfall, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Heads behind your back. We got him. Put in the, bomb the LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. The LAPD sustained no casualties. Damn fine work, Phelps. Now get out there and nail some more bad guys, will you? I want to finish reading this. That it? Not like a hearty handshake or something? Or just got a pat in the back. Look at that. We did great. City damage. Like, that's... That's neither here nor there. What's the next one? Oh, another flashback. My family runs a shipping business in San Francisco. We used to have two ships a week to Tokyo. We've been in shipping for two generations, Hank. I've never been on a voyage anywhere. I feel like Odysseus in the beginning of his journey. The Odyssey took 10 years, Cole. Who's Odysseus? This is the American century. America? can rule the world after we win this war. We need to stay alive, Cole. These men are counting us. If you're with veterans, they're saying to each other? No. Golden Gate in 48. 
That's four more hard years of fighting. The Fallen Idol. Guys, that's where we're going to end it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, like and share as you see fit. Put me down in the comments. See if you uh, picked up on something that I missed. Is there anything that's been going on? Or what games you would like to see on the channel next. I know we're doing Mafia as we speak. And we do this. So if there's any other games you want to see on the channel, let me know. And until the next one, peace. Bye.